It's the free market system, Milton Friedman's been arguing, I think, not labor unions, which best protect the interests and serve the interests of the worker. Walter Williams, your reaction? Well, uh, I think clearly uh, labor unions serve the best interests of uh, workers who happen to be members of uh, labor unions at the expense of workers who are excluded from being uh, members of labor unions. Ernest Green? I don't think you can have a democratic society without having trade unions. Uh, I think if you look at any democratic country, it's essential to it right of workers to organize and uh, I think it's consistent if we are to maintain a democratic uh, country those freedoms that the right of workers to organize is is a primary objective that we have to maintain. Bill Brady? Well if they are so vital uh, why are so many union members leaving the union? Uh, why are they uh, why are they losing so many decertification why are the unions losing so many de decertification uh, elections? Why has the, uh, the number of union members declined so precipitously from 23% uh, of the labor force to, uh, what is it now, uh, less than 19, 18%? Well, it depends whose figures you're reading, but uh, workers aren't leaving the labor movement in droves, and we're, the union is not declining precipitously. Uh, my union, the United Steel Workers of America, the major unions in the country, many small ones are out organizing and growing. The mix of work, uh, the mix of work in the society is changing. We have some employers, as we saw in the film, who can't wait to rush off to the South and try to get in an anti-union environment and invest their money in prosperity mm -hmm. in the South instead of in the North. And surely, if you invest <coughs> money anywhere, you're going to have prosperity. Let, let so we, we also have a mix in terms what? of civil service yeah. and service workers, mm -hmm. where we have employers who have grumbled on that film. I, I don't know. I don't know that if you. I don't know that if you invest money anywhere, that you're going to have prosperity. I don't think that that's a given. That, that is, you seem to me to be dealing in a in a in a, in a premise there that is that is incorrect. But well, we haven't got one of the one of the wait a minute. Now, wait wait a minute. <laughs> wait, the key question we're discussing is who protects the worker? Is it the labor union or the free market that best serves his interest? Well, uh, it seems like uh, uh, from the evidence that I have uh, from a number of uh, uh, research projects that I've engaged in, I found that uh, labor unions protect their members often at the expense of uh, disadvantaged people. And, uh, and it's a very, very interesting uh, uh, question that labor unions down through the ages have discriminated against all kinds of people uh, well, in we, favor we of have a particular involved, class of workers. Uh, we find that uh, labor unions have gone out on strikes and have uh, murdered and uh, maimed people uh, because uh, other people sought entry. And in terms of uh, Mr. Green's remark, he says that in a free democratic society, we need labor unions. Yes, that is true. We need the right for voluntary association. That is, uh, uh, pre people have the right to form associations, but it should not be a requirement that you be a member of a labor union in order to uh, establish a contract for employment. Can't, can't we get some, can't we get some perspective in this, Walter? Uh, talking about unions down through the ages makes no sense at all in terms of where we're at now in this century at this time. This business of trying to relate where unions come from to the, to the medical profession and Hippocratic oaths, uh, Hippocratic oaths or Hippocritical oaths, however one looks at that, back in the Greek islands really has very little relevance. Yes, it does. The violence, hear me out a minute, I waited okay. patiently. Okay. The not violence so it's associated with, <laughs> well, not so patiently, but I waited. The violence associated with the labor movement and so on has been minimal and was a reaction in this century, not over the ages, a reaction in this century to the violence done workers by corporations and powerful economic groups when there was no workers' organization to protect them and no way to deal with their greed okay. and with their okay. power. Now, now I'm turning to Milton because he's heard the flavor of the discussion. Sure, what, what, what Lynn Williams now is now saying is utter nonsense. And there's no other, no two ways about it. The conditions of the worker in this country before there was labor unions were very important, improved very greatly. You cannot tell me that millions of people, my parents, your parents for all I know, parents and many people around, came to this country from Europe in order to be exploited and in order to be uh, subject, subjected to violence. Of course, I there were incidents I agree with that violence. eminently. I there mean, were, most of the blacks came to this country not voluntarily, the blacks, but they were shipped here. The blacks and did, the interesting thing about the, the, about the issue not. on uh, Excuse me, Hold on though, for a second. Is that hold you on, left out... Let, let me finish and then right. back to you, for sure. The blacks are an exception, and I agree with you completely. 22 but million exceptions, though. They are, they are a very important exception. But there are also... Millions and millions of people that Mr. Williams represents are not mostly black. They are mostly from the Slavic countries that came from well, Eastern Europe. If you Europe. look at the membership if of we, the steel workers... If, if we go back, they viol there was violence, of course. 
There always has been violence. Uh, it's not excusable. I'm not excusing violence on the part of anybody. But I agree with Mr. Green and with Walter Williams that people should be free to organize. Of course they should be free to organize. What I object to is the special privileges that have been given by government to labor unions which are not available to other groups at all.